working as intended. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go punch a zombie bear. Yeah! Idiots. Uh, to be fair, I used a baton. I mean, to be fair, Dylan was actually punching a zombie bear. Right. I thought it would do something, okay? I mean, it was doing something. So the zombie bears have so much health. Enemies have so much health now. Like, uh, what is it? In single player, I was fighting just a regular bear, and I think it took like 60 shots from the pipe pistol. There is a book that you'll find for brawling that makes it so you do tons of damage, and I think you even get health back when you punch while drunk. Isn't it, Jay? I know it's something you get like massively buffed when you're drunk and you punch. Remember. I'm gonna have to find that book. <laughs> Looking at my achievements, it's like 81%. Most recent, reach 10 in fortitude. It's like, well, I guess I never really played that tree yet. <laughs> next up, or uh, next uh, next one that's so close, your number's up, die 100 times. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> one of the die ones. <laughs> yeah. I'm only at 59 out of 100, though. 59%, it's a passing grade. I mean, one is a passing grade in Canada. Yeah. No fail clause. I, zero is a passing grade in Canada. Yeah, Dylan, when when we were in high school, you could actually fail. Us old folks. I've never heard of the no fail clause over here. I've heard of a lot of people failing, though. It might not actually be over there. Uh, it, it was implemented in Alberta here. Like, you literally can't fail high school. And then and it, kids were complaining afterwards because they couldn't get into college. It's like, well, what did you think zeros were going to get you? Right. If you think that sounds really dumb, it's because it is really dumb. I remember uh, one of my instructors at uh, college, like, seven or eight years ago, was uh, this, a woman who was right out of high school, and, like, she was failing the class. And, like, she's like, so uh, when do I get my retest? And he's like, you don't get a retest. Yeah, you failed college. And she and she actually like complained to the dean and stuff, and it's just like fuck off. No, no. When you fail, you start again. It's not a uh... my inclusiveness. Oh, join game. And there's plenty of roads for folks that you know just can't do the schooling too, right? There's also plenty of roads that need to be uh, built for those kind of people too. So I think I wonder if because uh, uh. James is building this bridge. I wonder if the enemies are actually going to like use it to cross and just funnel in. That would be <laughs> hilarious. That would be. I don't think they do because they'll they still have a path under the water, so you they'll be... still take the most direct. Well, route. even put... them taking the water is funny because they get slowed. Yeah. yeah. Just put a trapdoor on it because I know they're attracted to trapdoors. Just set up a shooting range right there. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's why I was like, well, maybe I'll build a little ways in. And it's like, no, I actually want to build right in the elbow of the river here because then we can use the river to our advantage. Hurry up and open up, trader. I want to turn in my quest. Nine millimeter ammo. I want to watch you bum rush the door. Not that door. Yeah. I'm still in initializing world. Well, let you in? What? <laughs> was it not supposed to? <laughs> well, I thought the trader was closed. Oh, trader's open. Opens at 6.05. Oh, gotcha. 109 mil ammo. That's... Yeah, I took the 109 mil ammo as well. Data doesn't get passed very fast on my uh, internet. I'm still halfway straddling between fortitude and perception. It's like, uh, I like to think I'm actually a good shot. So. so how do I go about getting more money in this game? Do quests. quests. Get items, sell them. Okay. I like the buried supplies ones. They're fast. You are infected. Well, I guess I'll have to wait until I find some antibiotics. You have the AIDS. There's uh, honey here. Wait, didn't I say it? There's honey last time? Yeah. Uh, I thought I ate it all. Dude, How much I have did you... one I have one in my inventory and there's one here. This How much infection do you have? This is not the first time. Well you stop getting hit. It was because I fell in a, a hole and There were zombies in it? They jumped in after me. I just climb up and run away. Don't forget to accept the uh invite there, Dylan. Oh right. 
We're gonna party hard. I'm now level seven. Oh, get fucked. And I can now build workbenches. Fortifying the bridge. I'm being respectful to the land. Whenever I get find my buried treasure, I go and cover up the dirt. There, nice and neat. Time to go hand in my quest team. What do we say day four we're gonna start just working concentrating on the base? I'm gonna start it now. So you guys just keep doing what you're doing. You want us to cross spikes, right? Right, but we'll need spikes. Once I get the layout, the storage will probably be the first thing we want up, though. We don't have the pickup mod, so Amy can't go and bring back, like, signs and swing sets and stuff. <laughs> she must be disappointed. I think, I think you can actually craft wine barrels, though. Oh, Wavy, I got a book for you. His name Dylan. is Dylan, God damn it! I corrected myself. <laughs> I'm not one. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. So, did you do the initial quests? Um, the yeah, right, I did all the quest. Yeah, I did those ones. Okay, it should have given you some skill points that you use. Yep, I leveled up my fortitude, like the main all right, stat. Then uh, the next quest should have taken you to a trader. Yep. And then the trader it gives you quests, and you can do quests for him and trade those in for monies. Okay, so these tier one like uh, clear yes. and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. Well, and you can do what's called double clearing if you want more loot, uh, because whenever you start a quest, it resets the entire point of interest. Okay. So you can go in, clear all the zombies, grab all the loot, and then as soon as you start the quest, it'll re it'll re um, oh. initialize the area, and everything will spawn again. Right, we did that last time. Okay. Thank you for the book, Mike. Yeah. I found the one of my uh, rewards was the health back on every hit while punching. Oh no, somebody's putting up barbed wire fences. I'm sorry, I have to take them down. They're not in the spirit of what you have planned. Well, they're right in the middle of the where the base would be. Okay, bridges there. Need a little bit of a killing field. Birdie. Is there something I can make that destroys stuff faster than the stone axe? Yes. It depends on what you're trying to destroy uh, as well. What are you trying um, to destroy? Um, anything. <laughs> so, so if you're trying to destroy like rock and metal, you're gonna want a pickaxe. Uh, taking apart like mechanical objects like cars and that, you're going to want some sort of a um, tool, like wrench, a ratchet, ratchet or a wrench. Yeah. Impact driver. Trees and wood and stuff like that is your will be your axes. So and there's an iron is... fire axe and a steel axe, and then there's shovels. It's pretty much Minecraft. Smuck some zombies. Bonk. It's satisfying being able to kill in one hit. Also, if you press, uh, uh, if you look at the players in the game, I don't know what buttons default. You notice that there's one thing that says game stage, right? Yeah. That, that's how hard the enemies are. As your game stage goes up, the enemies become harder. And your game stage okay. can float depending on the uh, level of the folks around you. I should see if we have a hammer. So I'm not sure if this is new in uh, this thing, but uh, a lot of the POIs. Can remember the POIs when you finish them? You just like. All right, now how do I get out, right? And then you have to break through, like, some wall. Yeah. Now, like, a lot of the POIs have these, like, actual buttons on the one. You press it and it opens up, like, a garage door and lets you out. Okay. Which I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, you were saying something about, a, like, a uh, restart the power uh, motor and stuff like that, too? Yeah. In fact, if I can get to uh, stage two quests... Well, I guess I'll have to wait for the next day. We can start doing... Because those ones appear starting on... Uh, what is it? Uh, tier 2 quests. There's also now Tier 3 buried supplies. Something hilarious about going into a house and just punching every zombie in the face. Aha! Tier 1 complete. But well, this guy doesn't have any more jobs. Tier This guy... Tier 1, tier 2 jobs right away. You have to wait for the next day. Yay! I have a bike now. I believe continuing to do Tier 1 quests, though, actually contributes to getting Tier 2 complete. So I'll continue to do quests to upgrade my 
upgrade the difficulty so we can get some major adventures that last an entire day. I crashed. <laughs> oh no! By the way, this game isn't buggy at all. That, that would be sarcasm. <laughs> One of the other things they added is they're like little mini POI things. So like, there'll be like an ambulance on the street, like outside of a house. And it'll have like a couple of like nurse zombies just hanging out around it. Oh. Oh, I found one of the things you were talking about. Like, there was a key rack, and I took a key from it, and it unlocked the door. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen that. It was like a fast food place or something. It was, was it actually part of the quest? Uh, no, I haven't started the quest. I was clearing it out first. It's partially. <laughs> Somebody partially looted it. Bonk. Loot is no longer tied to game stage, though, so uh, it actually takes longer to get good stuff now. So it's by day, then? Well, there's uh, level effects at a bit, but there's also like multipliers for where the POI is and what tier it is. So if you look in your screen, you go to your character screen, the uh, second tab says loot stage. It's like game stage, but for loot. Well, maybe I'll focus perception and get lucky looter up, then. Because before, Lucky Looter actually really wasn't worth it. But now, if you go to Dangerous POIs, now it's totally worth it. Bonk. Oh, get fucked. So satisfying when zombie head explodes. Haha, <laughs> idiot. I don't know those things where it's like, the zombie busts through the door and just falls right in front of me head first. I'm just like, and it's just like, please hit me right here. I found some rocket launcher parts. Nice. That is Perception Tree under Demolitionist. Welcome back, James! Thank you very much. Man, Pipe Shotgun takes like four seconds to reload for one shell. Does anybody have anything better to build with than a freaking stone axe? Uh, I have a climber. Oh, I do as well. It's only great Hello. one. So. Hello! Hello! Hi, do you want to do this quest with me? Oh, sure. All right, let me share it. Uh, here we go. Having to hit every one of these boards three times is... Yeah. I, I pretty much gave up on the uh, the digging quests. Nice. All right, like... so uh, we'll start this right away. Oh, we actually climb up here into the roof first. Here, zombie. Zombie? No zombie? Ooh, scare zombie scared the shit out of me. It's like just appears behind me. A ninja. No. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, there's a curious satchel in here. Oh, yep, that was mine. I found it. Oh, did you find yours already? Yep. Oh, well, we're, we're done. <laughs> I guess right. let's, go kill, let's go kill all the zombies in here. Ooh, BDU top. Do you want? Oh yeah, yours was in there. Alright, let's through the wall here. Oh, I heard I heard a zombie just get fucked up. Did you burst its head open? <laughs> hobos do. All those hobo vitamins. Grind up a hobo and put it in the stew. I'm sitting here looting and all I hear is James having the time of his life. <laughs> Bonk! I just walk into the next room, all I see is dead zombies everywhere. Alright, we're done. Do you have a quest nearby here? I do, it's this house. Oh really, you have a quest here too? Yep. Hey, you should share it with me. How do I do that? So, go to your quest, go uh, into your inventory and on the top there's a little exclamation mark. Okay. And then highlight the quest and then go hit the little share button with a bunch of or, like, are you just talking- is it just, like the quest that I gave you? <laughs> or did you have a separate quest for here? It's, a uh, it's the fetch quest. I think it's the same one, actually. So it's literally the one I just gave you, or is it a copy of the one I gave you? Is there an exclamation mark out here for you? Yes, there is. Okay, try sharing it then. I'm not sure what this button is. Alright, so, uh, did you open up your quest? 
Yeah, I'm at the quest uh, tab. Alright, and then you click on the tier 1 fetch that uh, is here. That doesn't have the check mark beside it. Yeah. Okay, and then up above, you know where it says, like, toggle active and, like, show on map and remove quests? There should be one. Oh, that's why. Okay. And I will accept. But I'm not sure if we can actually do it. Like, can you actually start it? Because we had a quest here already. I think it stops taking uh, it. I, well, I am pressing the share quest, but it's not doing anything. Well, I accepted it. I accepted it. So I have the quest now, too. Oh, okay. But then you click on here, and then it'll say, like, you cannot accept a quest here or something. Hit your E key on the exclamation mark. Yeah, it's saying not available right now. Yeah, come so we actually, have to, we actually have to go and turn in the first quest that we did here, and then we can come back and do your quest too. What grade of uh, stone tools can you make? I can make three. Yeah, so I'm certain skills you. power up certain things, like a minor 69 it powers up the quality of the tools that you can make. So if you're going a fortitude there, uh, Dylan... You can make better machine guns and fists as you level them up. Okay. Or machine gun fists. A machine yeah, gun. A machine awesome, gun that shoots. But... Look, you look so ready to punch zombies. At least that's why I saw for uh, Jay here because he had his fists <laughs> out. Are you going forward to do? Oh, uh, I was, but I'll probably go with perception. Oh, I couldn't. I searched this, so I got a clear quest, and I, it wasn't finishing, and, but then I realized I had to go on the roof, and there's a vulture up there. It jump-scared me. <laughs> yep. That happens all the fucking time. I'm gonna drop some stuff off at base, and then uh, head back out to do that quest there with James. I'll meet you there. Yep. I've got a bike, so I'll be there pretty quickly. Takes five freaking hits with a shovel to dig up dirt right now. That's what I was saying. It was like, it's painful with a level one stone shovel. Mine's level two, even. And, and I have a rank in the uh, dig dig faster, too. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Nintendo Wee! Yeah. I hear gunfire. That was me. I was being chased by a zombie dog. Oh, yeah. Dogs are fucking annoying. Wait, somebody had a sh uh, hammer for me? Oh. Here, I'll give you one. I'm right there. I was going to say, whoops. Alright, let's start this shit. Alright, no sneaky zombie this time. Thank you. Yep, no worries. <laughs> Try to. <laughs> no sneaky for you. <laughs> oh, get fucked. Oh, here's a uh, satchel. Oh, this one was mine. Alright, well, you go kill and I'll just keep looting. <laughs> <laughs> He said, sounds like you're having the time of your life, so go ahead. <laughs> James was like, I'm so excited to be killing zombies. You just can't fight it. Alright, got mine. To lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> hey, James. Yeah. Do you have armor? That's armor. Oh, nice. Gives you some protection. Oh. Safe. Sit here for an hour breaking this open. Already missed my lock picking skills. So somebody have a fairly close quest we can do during the night. Your shot did four durability of damage. <laughs> Who's gonna get out first? Okay, never mind, you're helping with the door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, quest is done. Turn it turn it in. Wee! <laughs> Robotic headlamps mod schematic. What is robotic headlamp? Oh, it's for the drone. There's a drone. Yes, you can get. You can build. If you're in the entry, you can build a drone that'll follow you around, and it doesn't count as one of your robots. Oh. It it actually has a thing that'll heal party members too. Well then. It's supposed to be quite neat. How do I cook this meat? Give me a sec here. Actually, uh, even better, uh, put it down for a sec and let me uh, make uh, bacon and eggs with it. Ooh, you can make bacon and eggs too? I believe I took one level of Master Chef for that. Because I actually got the recipe for it. Yeah, I took one oh. level of Master Chef for it. So, delicious bacon and eggs. The only problem is finding eggs. 
No, I've got 25 <laughs> fucking eggs. <laughs> it's better now. There we go. There's 12 bacon and eggs cooking. Leather fists. Where'd you get the bicycle? Uh, completing hmm. tier one. Okay. So just keep doing quests until they're like, you've done enough quests to not get crap loot. Is it a guaranteed bicycle? Yes. Uh, can I get a BMX? You get a choice of like a bunch of different things, and bicycle is one of always one of them for tier one. You have to finish seven tier one quests. They decrease it from ten to seven for each tier now. But they also made it so that like your tier doesn't carry over between traders. So if you go to a new trader, it starts at tier one again. When does a trader close? Eighteen or sixteen or uh, twenty-one fifty-five. So five minutes before twenty-two. And we're. So Mike's working on the base that we're going to defend on day seven, right? Yes, yeah, but we're all going to start helping out once it gets close to day seven because he's going to need some help. Okay. <laughs> um, how do I... What item do I need to repair the pipe machine gun? Steel pipe, or iron pipe. The first chest there on the left has some pipes. All you need is one. Somebody want to pick up uh, one of the quests to do at night? Well, I'm heading to drop off my current one, so I'll take a drop. See how close it is. Stamina regen is definitely priority one for for talents. And there's two of them, depending on what you're doing. Because there's also the cardio talent in the... Uh... Cardio and sexual transverse, right? Yeah. Choose one. Bicycle. Yay. So you, you can choose between that, a forge, and a bunch of bundles? Yes. And a clear zombies tier one in the middle of town. Further away than James. There should be some bacon and eggs on the cook fire there. Uh, Amy to recover health. I put them in this chest right here. Oh, opening trade roads is a kilometer away. I'm not gonna make it there. Yeah, mine was like 1.2 away. I'm just like, nah. Not today. And if you go to that one, you start on tier one again. I mean, technically, you get another bike or a forge or the bundles. Yeah, get the book bundle. It's rain. It's pouring. I got the uh, first tech junkie book for you, Mike. Robot <laughs> Whoops. weapons. I thought I was just clearing a place out. I'm just like, oh, I better go go and uh, turn it in. I didn't actually go and pick up the items. So I was like, no, you failed. <laughs> oh, jeez. An hour and ten minutes to darkness. Are right, we going to all hang out together for a quest? Yeah. Mm, share the quest. Secure deal with a horde. <laughs> Gunfire. That's just me, uh, shooting some zombies. It was me, probably. <laughs> Tier 1 clear. Except. We're on our way. How do I accept a quest again? Uh, hit tab, and then just to the right of the what tab you're on, it says the quest tab. And there's a shared quest in the bottom left. Select the shared quest and then hit the uh, check mark above it. Oh, okay. Hey, it's right beside my clear as well. Maybe you should share yours too. Okay. Uh, how do I share mine? Select your quest um, um, from your quest list, and then above there, where the uh, there should be a share quest button. Let's see if we can finish two. Oh, you're right. That's like right beside it. We're just about there. Oh, I got three and six as well for Tech Junkie. Oh, nice. Are you bringing it with you or just leaving it in the... Uh, I'm done with stuff in the chest now. Okay. Somebody's standing right beside a big doggo. Oh, that's not somebody standing beside a big doggo. That's a... Uh, a zombie getting eaten by a big doggo? A zombie standing right beside a dire wolf. 
uh, if you guys come towards us. Teamwork makes the screen work. Okay, so which one are we doing first? Not oh, the one by the bicycle. Is it this entire trailer park? Yes. We have to wait for it. This one's the one that Jay starts, so, uh, what do you want to just start clearing? First clear? Empty it out, and then we start. Yeah. I heard doggo. Alright, this one's clear. Okay, nothing in there. Well, nothing, no zombies. Finish looting everything out here. Surprising lack of zombies in this one. Somebody probably already ran through here. It wouldn't have triggered the spawns on the insides of them. Oh, this one always having a bunch of zombies inside the, uh, each one of them. By the way, Dylan, normally nighttime is really scary because zombies all run at you. Yeah, I've, I learned that the first night uh, I was in a field and a zombie was really just booking it. No, the first night you learn that zombie, but you don't, zombie bears, you don't fuck with them. Oh, careful. If a car falls, it ends up exploding. Alright, are we good to actually start the quest? Okay, I'll be right there. Ha, ah, my bike has a kickstand. <laughs> okay, starting it. Everybody getting close. Alright, clear areas. Yeah! Oh, get fucked! It's like everybody just take one, uh... Oh, one camper and then uh, each, and then we're done. Oh, we're already done. All zombies Not are dead. Checking in the street. I'm not sure if you've noticed there, uh, Dylan, but sometimes some houses have like little loose boards, and you can break them, and then there's like hidden stuff underneath them. So you can keep a lookout for those too. It's extra loot. Okay. Then there's Jay having the dismantled fiesta. All right, should we head to the other one? Yeah. Make active. I heard a big zombie somewhere. Chicken! Explodey head. Ooh, an iron shovel. Oh, it sounds like you guys are having a time of your life over here. <laughs> Quick, mutilate, mutilate, mutilate. <laughs> like, mutilate, like, the wow skill? Take apart the bus. Uh, this one you want to use a wrench on because you get extra parts from. I don't want to have a wrench. I researched how to make it though. Teamwork. I how slowly it looks like he's healing at times. Oh, I got a grade 6 battery out of that. Oh, I got a grade 3 one. Okay, uh, did you bring those books, Jay, or did you just leave them out? I dropped the... them off at the okay. base. Yeah, it's not like I'll. I can use them right yet, anyways. Alright, starting it up. Here we go. Murder! Bonk! Oh, we're done. Yeah, I mean, six people going through a tier one is pretty simple. <laughs> they don't scale the difficulty for, like, the number of people. So once, once like, you've done the quest, you usually don't want to dismantle things that can actually hold loot. Because loot will respawn. Pallets of materials are usually pretty good too, like cement, uh, bricks, cobble, cobble. Oh, I found a wrench. And then eventually you go into, I think it's like the perception tree, and there's one that gives you double when you salvage stuff with the wrench. And there's lots of things you can wrench, like even these things here. You can wrench on the shelf. Gives mechanical parts, and then you can turn mechanical parts into other neat stuff. But don't don't wrench the uh, the gas cans behind you; they'll just explode. <laughs> Wait, is somebody wrenching the bus? No. Well, somebody did. <laughs> There's some durability missing from it. I saw Jay dismantle the uh, the fridge. Broken fridge. It was nothing. Yep. I can't. Couldn't loot it. Can't hold loot, so it's fine. You can uh, dismantle this stuff here too on the side. There these uh, there's this wiring. Pick up stuff like chairs too and scrap them. So many resources in the apocalypse. Now these pipes are new. Before you used to not be able to wrench them. Behind you, guys, Jason and uh, Dylan. 
Just in case. Alright, we're all done. We can head home. Two bone night. Can't wait for us to find a zombie bear on the way home. That was an interesting uh, animation, Raz. <laughs> what did I do? It it looked like your bike fell over, but you were still riding it, and then it fixed itself. <laughs> <laughs> Just riding on its side. Whee! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Swing when... <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I get on, then the auto stabilizers kick in. Mount the bike while it's lying on its side in the ground. Hmm. So next day, we might be able to do one of those generator quests. There's this building here with a route up, but the route up is like cement bags and bricks. So you just like harvest it, no longer have a route up. It's like you can just build a new way up, you know. I'm stuck. I got stuck on a campfire. <laughs> can you change the colors of the bikes? I think change you can put dye on it. Oh, the dye, right. I forgot about that. It's the same as before. Used to a whole bunch of other stuff now having dyes, like the sleeping bags. <laughs> Not dyes, but you can change the color without the dye. Oh, I wish I could pick up the doghouse. <laughs> I think you can craft the doghouse. You guys are going to have to find some uh, tool places and get some repair materials. Oh, repair uh, kits are a lot more rare now, so you can't just get like 30 from some of the boxes now. Yeah, we did it. We all survived today, didn't we? We did. Probably because we didn't decide yeah. to go punch a zombie bear. Well, it's probably got nothing to do with it, just think. Had everything to do with it, you idiot. <laughs> it's a grade three uh, hand wraps here, too, Dylan. Hey, Jay, everybody's so slow, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just hunt down know, to the dog and just smash it? Yes. <laughs> to be fair, it bit me first. Then you stabbed it and it's just like, nope! Yeah. Alright, is everybody back? Soon to be back? Gunfire! I'm back. Here's a start a cube base. Did you get a claw hammer? Yes. Oh, Mike, uh... The chest I'm standing on has the middle okay. one. It's like got you like a third of the way through your books. It's like, who? AP ammo. Robotic weapons do more damage. Yes. I already had the first one, so anybody can uh, use that now. Is anybody else going to do a bit of int? I mean, I eventually will. But I'll probably end up picking it up on my own anyways. All right, so next time possible nighttime generator quest or daytime. Oh, you can't do them during the day. You have to. It has to be during the night. Oh, it's a new type of quest. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Everybody, take care. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and comment. You can click on the left button to subscribe, and the right one to watch more 7 Days to Die Alpha 20. Thanks for watching.